Faith with Katie. I'm Katie Souza, and oh my gosh, the best week ever is beginning right now, okay? Because my good friend, Nikki Vanderwest Hazen, is here, and we are going into a special two hour live revival, okay? This has been a global revival Come that on. Apostle Nikki has been working in South Africa, and it's global. Get it? Global? Like, it's going to come over here to the United States. It's going to go into where you are located. It's going into your city, into your home, into your church. You would not believe the crazy miracles, financial miracles, physical miracles, impartations. I mean, explosion of attendance, church, lands, homes. It has been amazing. So look, you've Dumb got it. to share the broadcast. Okay, look. People are chatting in right now. I'm just going to call out some people. I want you to share the broadcast. Redeem Forever is saying Shalom from St. John, BC, Canada. Dawn is watching from Johannesburg, South Africa. That's where Pastor Nikki's church is. Okay, Raylene is watching from New Zealand. Um, everybody saying good evening, good evening. Please chat in when you're watching from. Houston is long the line. That's Sophie. Hey, girl. Lagos, Nigeria. Hey, Tony thanks for tuning in. Ireland is watching. Um, a good bless you from Rita Ragazzoni. Thanks, Rita. Um, people are watching from California, from the UK, from uh, Chicago, Illinois. That's where I was born. Oklahoma City. Uh, people from all over Minnesota, Jamaica, Texas, Michigan, Africa, South Durban, Africa. Thank you, Jesus. Lots of South African people on the line today. Pennsylvania, India, uh, South Carolina, Hawaii, the Philippines. This is going to be two hours tonight, tomorrow night, and the next night until Friday of revival, revival, revival. Okay, so now while you still chat in, while you share the broadcast, I'm going to bring Pastor Nikki on. Let's put his role in, guys, and boom, our guest is coming on live. Best week ever. I am so excited to be here. And thank you for having me, uh, how, my, my friend. God, how, how could I not? We've my been watching goodness. the revival in our house here. All of us, the core team, wow. dog's wife, Francie, yeah. and our prayer, one of our prayer generals, Barb Rucci. We've all been gathered, all, you know, the rest of the team, and watching the revival with you, going mm. through it like we were there. Right. And I'm telling you what, the glory landed in our house breakthroughs came financial things came uh favor came upon us open door stuff we never thought we'd see that's amazing and thank you for for following because i remember you know i'm speaking to you every like second day how's it going and you just said you know we're praying we are experiencing the same move of god mm. and here we are I know. <laughs> for the next three days i believe we're going to see some crazy things happening not just in the studio yeah. but in the homes of people yeah. uh, in the lives of people i believe for importation i believe for personal revivals yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, that this nation really needs a, a touch of god's incredible nation i love this nation yeah. but there needs a revival coming oh, to every single person and may the lord use the next three days you know i love the United States of America. But we're in trouble right now. We're in trouble. I've never seen so much madness, but revival will break through all of that. It's the only answer. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the, when the power of God lands, and it's going to land, guys, that's why we're here doing this. And it is it is a media revival, too. Yeah. So I know that even as people are watching in their homes from wherever they're watching from, and by the way, people are saying, Evening, Dad. <laughs> and I know they all call you Dad in your church. There's a lot of people, Hey, Dad. What's going on, Dad? <laughs> Good to see you with Katie, Dad. Yeah. They love you oh, very much. Oh, I love them yeah. very much. Oh, Come my on. gosh. So just so I can chat in some more, um, the Netherlands is on, too. Mm -hmm. Astrid from the Netherlands, South Africa. Edinvale. Do you know where Edinvale, mm -hmm. South Africa is? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're on. Alaska's watching. Wow. Right. Come on. Henderson, um, Nevada is watching. 
Austin, Texas. Daniela's from Austin, Texas. The UK Marlena sent all her uh, UK flags. Okay, mm -hmm. um, everybody's saying, go, girl. Come on, Dad. Let's go. Um, everybody's excited. They're sending fire emojis. Send a fire emoji if you guys are excited, okay, <laughs> in the chat. Uh, uh, Janet from England and the UK. Uh, Pennsylvania. Let's see. Keep on chatting in Colorado. Good evenings and blessings to you both. New Brooklyn, New York. Texas, Cape Town is on. Wow, Cape cool. Town. Come on. When are, you, when are you going to Cape Town? When am I going? To, when are you going to invite me? No. <laughs> I, <laughs> I accept. It. Yeah. You come and Francine and Doug and your husband, everybody, let's have a trip to Cape Town. Let's have a trip to Cape Town. That sounds like Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. I'm telling you, I'm to the point where I am so possessed by the presence of God through this revival that if you said go to go to you know the North Pole I'd be <laughs> I'd be in for the trip because it's that good okay people now are sending fire 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 emojis Come fire on. emojis Alberta's on Texas is on Port Elizabeth Pennsylvania's on Greensboro North Carolina Bellingham Washington M M Midran South mm -hmm. Africa wow revival 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 they said lots of Cape Town people New Jersey's on there's a lot of people from your neck wow. of the woods and they're all sending fire okay uh, and the, i mean you must go. understand it's like one o'clock in the morning oh my gosh you guys are on fire for sure yeah so they're <laughs> gonna watch until three o'clock tomorrow morning <laughs> The four things. Thank God it will be up on YouTube and up on Facebook. And by the way, guys, if you're watching on Faith Television Network, which many of you are, we're going to go in our normal time span from 5 to 6 my time. I, I don't know what time it is over there. So you said it's 1 o'clock. Well, it should, what is it now? Six hours ahead. So it's 5, it's 11. It's 11? 11 okay, so. 11 o'clock. Okay. So you're going to watch, and we're going to sign off, not really, in an hour. But we're just going to keep on going. So get on the social media platforms. Okay, you can go to Pastor Nikki's page, which is called... Nikki van der Vest Hazen. Okay, yeah. Nick, Nikki van der Vest Hazen. Okay, if you can't spell it, we can put the... Let's put that graphic up right mm. now, guys, so you can see the YouTube page. Okay, do we have that? Okay, yeah, there you go. Get on that page. Please follow this page because when you get there, all the revival footage is there. Wow. It's priceless. Right exactly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How many weeks was it? Nine weeks. Okay, so look, there's nine weeks, guys, of the hottest, like most oiliest footage you've ever seen. Mm. Um, go follow his page, like his page, and then you can also watch it on our YouTube page and our Facebook page. So um, we'll sign off, quote, of Face Faith Television Network in an hour. But we're going to keep going. And then tomorrow we're going to do two hours on all of our social media platforms. And Friday, two hours on all of our social media platforms. <clears throat> okay, wow. How did, how did this start? This is crazy. Yeah, you know, I think for me, I grew up in revival. Yeah. Obviously, you know, my history. But I've always been... Not you everybody know, does, so maybe share a little bit. My dad was the founder with uh, four other men of God. Yeah. Uh, the charismatic move of God in South Africa. Yeah. So they started the Pentecost charismatic move in South Africa. And we had a breakthrough of revivals back then. Right. You know, so I understand revival. I've been trusting God for moves of his spirit. Right. And then the beginning of this year, I was, I was here on your program. Yeah. In that week, the Lord spoke to me and he said to me, I'm sending a revival of worship. Wow. For me, it didn't make sense. I didn't understand what mm. it meant. I thought, okay, well, you know, a worship leader is going to arise and he's going to sing a song or something. I never knew it's going to happen to me and to the body of oh, Christ, come on. you know. It happened to us. And, you know, if, if you say revival of worship, then my, my thought, my first train of thinking was songs. Yeah. But worship is not just songs. Come I've on. learned this now. Mm. Worship is when God's. God's name is exalted. Yeah, come the, on. You know, the end time move of God is going gonna, is gonna to happen. There's three things that's going to happen. The exaltation of the name of God. Yeah. The exaltation of the finished work of the cross. Mm. And then we will see the exaltation of the majesty of God. We will see all these things. So that's worship. When you, when you worship the Lord, this is what happens. All these things that we're going to speak about the next two days, mm. three days, will be added to you, Matthew chapter 6. Wow, come on. So when the revival started, I, we just started worshiping the Lord, and things just started happening, started happening. Miracles yeah, wow. started coming mm -hmm. in, breakthroughs started coming. 
because when you worship him, he comes. Mm. When he comes, miracle starts happening. Wow. So all I did was, Katie, when I was here, the Lord said to me, I send, I'm sending a revival of worship around the world. I'm looking for true worshipers. And mm. um, wow. I went back to our nation and I surrendered that day the church to the Lord. And when I surrendered that day, and I got the clip of that. Yeah, when I surrendered point. that day, the church, the parking lot, the cameras, God just started moving. Wow. And that is the key of revival, surrender. Okay, so we're going to watch a promo, and we're going to come back, and we're going to do that simple activation of just surrendering. We're going to surrender the studio and the cameras and the crew to the Lord, and I want you to surrender your home and everything you have and your being and your soul and your mind and your busyness and everything to the Lord. And you're going to see, we're going to, we're going to move into worship. This is not going to be a normal faith with Katie broadcast. Right. We're going to move into worship. We're going to move into adoration. And when the Lord comes, which he does when we worship, miracles happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's watch this. Uh, it's the Nikki promo vid, guys. Let's roll that. I give this place, this property, these members that you've given unto us into the spirit of revival. If you pour out revival, use this place, oh God. When you're going to pour it out, use this property. Come on, this is the hour for revival. I'm not talking about a building revival. I'm talking about a global revival. In the day of Acts chapter 2, it says when the Holy Ghost came, it came like a mighty rushing wind. It filled the whole house and everybody that heard it ran to that place and the fire of God come. The Holy Ghost fire is not quiet. A uh, church on fire is not a quiet church. It is not a silent church. It's a church on fire for God. Come on, the miracle power of the Holy Ghost is here. Whatever is happening now, you appropriate it. I feel the devil is going to run tonight. I'm making him mad. People say, how can he speak about money? Here we go. Money, come to me right now. I just want to say the Lord is good because he said I'm feeling that the Lord wants me to sow 1.2 million into your barn, into your barn, 1.2 million. We have seen cars coming into this revival like ridiculous. They said they're going to send me another contract that's 10 times more. You are standing on your new church property. <laughs> Open revival over the churches. Break open revival in that city, oh God. Now let me hear the citizens of South Africa lift up the praises of revival. Come on, every citizen of South Africa, praise the Lord for revival. You can still feel it, man. <laughs> you can still feel it. Mm. Oh, my gosh. The impact. I mean, I was looking at the numbers there. You reached over uh, a million eight hundred people. Yeah. You know, it was so sovereign because, Katie, you know, I didn't plan this. Yeah. You know, it wasn't, okay, we're going to plan meetings now. It's going to start on this Sunday. Mm. It didn't. That Sunday morning, uh, I still had a normal service. Sunday night, I felt the Spirit of God say to me, he says, Call the nations that are in this building. Mm. Uh, and we had a, you know, uh, average crowd. So I said, how many people are here from different nations or different cultures? So we had 13, I think, 13 people coming to the front. Mm. And I said to them, in your own native language, say, revival is here. Oh, my gosh. And I prophetically, I didn't know it's going to erupt there. So they started speaking prophetically, revival is coming, revival is here, come and join revival. And then I turned to the team and I said, are you guys ready for another day, another f a couple of days? And we said, yes, that was Sunday night. Monday night, uh, we came to that building. That building was packed. Uh, you must see the photos. I mean, we're it going was to put the photos packed. up, guys. In fact, let's put up some of the Revival. worship and re revival crowd pics. Mm -hmm. 
Revival. Uh, you know, wow. I mean, people were just streaming from all over. People were flying in from all over the country. Oh my Dubai gosh. came. Gosh. People from America came. People just started flooding. Look at those pictures. You'll see how that building was packed out with people. Wow, Every look at this. Day. And they're, look, they're Thousands. all engaged. It's, how many times do you see people with their hands up all together yeah. collectively as one right. like that? And that was so sovereign because I didn't, I didn't lead it. I didn't plan it. Yeah. It wasn't manufactured. Right. It's a sovereign move of God. Mm. When, you know, when you surrender to God, he will come and he will take over. And the social media thing, we don't have a big social media. Yeah, reach. you don't. All of a sudden, that thing started exploding. Yeah, you don't have crazy. a big social media reach. In fact, you have a very small one, and and yeah. now it's like, wow, you it's crazy. the multiplication yeah. that was in it. A I mean, thousandfold anointing. Thousand. Oh, about. I that's the yeah. message I've been carrying for years. Yeah. This is amazing when you look at these yeah. photos. It's Young absolutely and old, incredible. Rich and poor, popular, unpopular. Those were people that got baptized. Wow. That's the baptism candidates. <laughs> they got oh saved and they're going to get baptized. You know? So they, there were salvations happening, oh, baptisms yeah. happening. I think we even have a, um, cars look are, at the cars lined up. Yeah, lining up to come in to church. They're trying to get in the parking lot. Yeah. This was real. This Isn't was that? a real, this is that. So sovereign. It's, this is that. This is that. This is what the prophet Joel prophesied. That yeah. in the last days, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, young and old, mm. rich and poor. <sighs> Look at that. People are just engaging in the power of God. Engaging. In the anointing of God. Man. Men of God came from all over. It's just so incredible. So thousands of people have just been touched by the power of God. It's, it, it's, it's so amazing. Now, you, you said that it all started when you surrendered. Mm -hmm. um, I want you to do that. I want you to lead everybody through that prayer because I know that God did this with you and me right now sovereignly because out of the blue, you know, we were communicating back and forth yeah, via yeah. text. I was saying, oh my gosh, we sat in the presence today of the revival. This is amazing. You know, we're throwing texts back like that. You give me a shout out from mm. stage every once in a while. Katie Sue says at home, she's, she's praying and worshiping mm. with us, everybody, you know, <laughs> and all of that. But when you, out of the blue, you text me and you said, let's do revival on your set. Yeah. I was like, this is the Lord. Come on. This is the Lord. So can we do the yeah. same heart position yeah. that you did with surrendering yeah. and lead everybody at home through it? Yeah. Mm. Well, here's the thing. You have to be hungry for revival. Mm, Father. And revival, this is how it's going to happen. We are here for three days. Yeah. Revival has three dimensions to it. Mm. And I believe this is what's going to happen in the next three days. Mm. Firstly, it starts with a personal revival. A revival doesn't come through a song, doesn't come through a preacher or a message. It comes through having a personal mm. hunger for God. And what is a personal revival? Mm. There are two things to a personal revival, Katie. Number one is brokenness mm -hmm. and surrender. Thank you. I want you tonight to have a personal revival. That means I want you to, to tune in your spirit to what God wants to do. Mm. We come broken before Him and we yeah. surrender before Him. Yes. I had to surrender everything yes. for this move of God. Mm -hmm. uh, if you asked me that day when, when I prayed, what do you mean? I would have said, well, I don't know. I'm just surrendering everything. Now looking back over the whole th move, yeah. this is what I had to surrender. My building, yeah. my parking lot, my cameras, my staff, um, my, my title, team. my worship team. Mm. You know what happened with me? And the spirit of brokenness came upon me. Mm. And that is where humility comes. That's when the power of God starts coming in. As a man of God, you know, when we worship the Lord, we just lift our hands like this. We look over the audience to see if the ushers are working and mm. if the sound, you know how we are. Yeah, yeah. For nine weeks, I laid flat on my face, which I've never done. And not watched over anything. Not watched, didn't care. Because God was anything. watching over it. Didn't care about the worship. Gosh. These songs that you're listening was not rehearsed. It was not practiced. Mm. It wasn't. It was just at that moment. And the Lord revived old songs. He revived new songs. Um, and people just started entering into the worship. Two hours, you know, just worshiping the Lord. There was no structure. I'm a very structured person. <laughs> very in I control. Too. But at the same time, we are both worshipers. And then in those meetings, I had to let go of those things and say, okay, God, just let 
just let it happen. And wow. it was difficult. I would see, you know, I, I didn't really watch the revivals. I listened to the revivals. But, you know, and then when the worship was over, I would watch. Yeah. But when there were times when I would glance up at the screen, because we're doing it here yeah, yeah, in America, yeah. um, you and your wife and your staff are in the front row face down on the exactly. carpet. Exactly. So you're not exaggerating when you did that. You no. took your eyes off of everything and let God to handle it for you while you just worshiped. Exactly. And, and the vision I had of this revival, I had two visions. The first one was dry ground. And I saw the rain of God falling yeah. on the dry ground. Mm -hmm. And then it started blossoming. <laughs> for the first Ooh. three weeks, we had rain every single Monday night. Mm. Rain coming down. The beginning of the revival just started raining. Oh, wow. Now, this is not our raining season. You must understand that. It's now winter in uh, South Africa, so okay. we don't have rain in uh -huh. Johannesburg. Rain would come. Rainbows would appear. Things would start happening in the climate. Thank you. And then the revival started happening. And then the second thing that I saw was the ark of God. Every time when wow. I walked into that building, I would see the ark of God. Those people in front of me, Yeah. I would see the, the ark. And the Lord will say, say to this to me. Don't touch my glory. Oh. Just like that. So for nine weeks, Jesus. I was just like, I was afraid. Mm. Reverential fear, let me use that word, of the presence of God, of the glory of God. I really believe that I should have oh. in for him to host the presence of God. I'm getting you know? like energy mm. on my body right now as you're saying all this stuff. You know, I've had revivals in my own home with actual physical rain coming down that actually wet wow. my skin. My husband, who's a little bit of a skeptic, you know, I, I drug him out of his <laughs> office when that happened and laid him on the floor. I said, it's raining in the house. Um, and he's like, yeah, right. And I laid him out. I know you're, you're going to feel it. Just lay here. And he laid there and the rain came and, and he goes, you're, you're spitting on me. <laughs> I wow. said, did you hear me talking? I'm not spitting. I'm telling you. But it came through the surrendering and just the deep worship of the deep p placing of my heart and everything else. Absolutely. And the, when the rain comes, things blossom and bloom, like you no, said. We had, we had one lady that came, not in the revival, a couple of services ago. She came and she said, can somebody please switch off the... The sprinkler, sprinkler yeah. under the gallery. And we said, no, we don't have one there. Mm. She was soaking wet. Wow. But people were having exper experiences in this revival with angelic visitations. And yeah, we're going to see it in the next three days. You're going to see testimonies, I believe, oh, where absolutely. angels are going to come and minister because they are angels of revival mm. that we have to commission to go and uh, start activating that, start bringing that. Because revival is a spirit. Yes, revival, explain that. Revival is a spirit. It's not something, like I said, you can manufacture or plan. It just comes. If you are a carrier of revival, you like you, me, mm. revival must take place. Every viewer around the world in the next three days are going to have an encounter with revival. <laughs> and they were looking and saying, you know, uh, but we are on this side of the world. It doesn't matter. We, we are in your home. If I look at all the testimonies, mm. we had over 7,000 testimonies by now. All of them happened online. Wow. I mean, you were watching Revival online. Mm. The Revival is not bound to a building. Please, that building that you see there was, that's just a small thing. And God even gave you God. a new property to build a bigger new building. Well, you were he's trusting us with that. Yeah, know? it happened during the Revival, like a, a miracle of... Tomorrow night, I want to testify about that. Yeah, you know what? Because, Katie, as people are watching, and yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, I want to say this prophetically, that by the end of this week, we will have testimonies of property and land and, mm. and homes and cars and everything will start happening. Because what happens, we carry that. It's yeah. going to happen. What happened to me as a minister, to us, I believe there are, there are men of God, pastors watching us right now, yes, that have been renting for many years. Mm. I say this oh prophetically. Gosh, thank you, Lord. You've been renting properties and mm. stuff for many years. Those days are done. Whoa. When revival comes, it revives everything, bring back to life, mm. and you're going to start becoming land possessors, property owners. And I want to ask you this. If you, if you are in a church... Uh, your local church and you are renting or there's a, a note on the 
on the property, debt on the property. Mm. Tomorrow night, I want you to tune in because we're going to pray and we're going to ask the Lord that the Lord will cancel those debts in oh the name of gosh, Jesus. You, Jesus. Jesus is not coming back for a debt full church is coming back for a glorious church and we have to operate in that so when revival come let me just give you that word the word yeah. revival means to bring back to life wow the things that are dead what is dead in 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 the in the christian world today worship is dead yes it's become so much entertainment it's just not possible mm. um counseling have died yes. deliverance we Oh Man, we counsel demons. We should deliver people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. And uh, set them free by the power of the Holy Ghost. So yes. deliverance has died. Uh, giving has died. Mm. All these things. God is bringing a revival, which means the things that are dead, it's going to be shocked back to life oh, in the name of Jesus. And you're going to see in the next three days, you don't want to miss one of these meetings. Every mm -hmm. night is specific. The Lord has already spoken to us. Yes. Every night a mm -hmm. specific flow will happen. Mm -hmm. Tonight we want to get you hungry for revival. And I want you, whatever is dead in your life, right this very moment, maybe your marriage, maybe your, sure. your relationships, mm -hmm. maybe your finances, sure. maybe your ministry has died, whatever. I speak the spirit of revival to come upon you in the name of Jesus. May your marriage be revived. May your children be revived. May the prayers that have died out be revived again. Even the dreams that have died, may those dreams be resurrected. Let it come alive again. And may you have a an encounter with the spirit of revival. Jesus is the greatest revivalist. I mean, wherever he went, he caused revival, havoc. The dead was raised and people's eyes were open and the, the, the deaf started hearing, lame started walking because where revival is, that is what's happening. Mm. So there in the comment sections and everywhere we are watching from, you need to let us know what God is about to do in the next three days. Mm. Whatever need you have, you know, you need to type it in there and say, this is my need. And then yes. you type in the testimony yes. because God's going to do miracles. Yes. Miracles, signs and wonders is the language of God. God. Mm. What is the language of God? Miracles, signs, and wonders. It's true. And that's what, I mean, it was a constant flow. I mean, it was a miracle, first of all, that you have at Really, I'm, I'm not dissing you, but you have the tiniest social media presence ever. Mm. And you reached 194 countries out of 195 sovereignly. It, uh, like 47,000 cities were watching right. the revival. You had 45,000 prayer requests during the revival. I mean, and, and cars came in homes. This is not... Guys, this is not hype. This is real. People got cars. People gave houses and, and, and lands came. I mean. People gave businesses. Yeah. I, <sighs> Have you ever heard of that? I've, I've, I've never, never heard, of heard of that. Where people sow businesses to each other. Yes. And, and, you know, it's like, wow. And we're going to be talking about finances tonight. We're going to worship we're going to get rid of the junk. The Lord showed me a bulldozer, yeah, right. right? And and a bulldozer, actually, um, when you look it up, it means a person or a group of people that have so much strength and fortitude that they can move obstacles and blocks out of the way. And I was like, okay, God, you've anointed Apostle yeah. and I yeah. to help everyone online mm -hmm. move the blocks that would prevent revival from manifesting in their marriage, their body, their finances, their home, their children, their schooling. We're going to move that out tonight. Okay. Tomorrow is financial miracles. We're going to teach on that. We're going to, it's going to, it's an impartation. Yeah, absolutely. It's not just, and, and Friday we're going to do miracle miracles on mm -hmm. the body. Um, I love it. Uh, are you ready to worship? Do you want to? I, I want to, yeah, I, you know, what you're saying is so, mm -hmm. so uh, important. To, tonight we're going to speak about revival and worship and, and start laying the foundation. Tomorrow night the Lord has really instructed us to pray for your finances. Mm. It's going to be a revival of the economy, a revival of your personal economy. And then also we're going to see supernatural uh, miracles happening financially. And then Friday night, Friday night will be miracles, signs and wonders. I don't know. If you, you know, we don't want to say get to the studio, but, you know, if you want to have prayer, hands laid on you, you must come and line up, you know, I'm just joking. Mm. <laughs> but I'm sure people will come. But, um, you know, we need to have signs, wonders and miracles and then impartation by the laying on of hands, mm. by watching oh the program. Gosh. So Friday night will be the night of impartation yes. and miracle signs and wonders. Oh, gosh. We're going to worship oh, the Lord. But I want to add this because this is important. We understand why this revival took place. 
Yes, God. And why God is doing this. Yeah. He is looking for true worshipers. Amen. That will worship Him mm. in spirit and in truth. Not in understanding, not in knowledge, in spirit. That's the one thing I really appreciated about you M more than anything else in the revival was, you know, when you're, when you're sitting there and you're presenting yourself before the Lord and you start flagging, you start either running out of energy or your focus is broken or you get distracted, you would come up with the glory on you because you would worship and worship and worship until the glory hits you personally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you would come up and you would lead people you know, okay, wow. now, now raise your hands and, and, and I'll lift your voice. And, and you would press past that place of, you know, into this place of uncomfortability. It's like, okay, I, I'm tired, but okay, I'm going to do this. Okay, well, as I'm doing this, while I'm feeling the presence, okay, I, now I'm energized. I'm refocused again. You would drive past the, the resistance the membrane mm. and break into the spirit, right? Going from the mm. natural where it's flesh into the supernatural. You are a I'm just going to say it for no lack. I'm not trying to exalt a man, but you are a master at that, at helping people to go in mm. and go in deep and stay in and, you know, and even go past their normal comfortability. Wow. You, you did that for me. You did that, you know, Francie's here too. And she had a word, by the way, guys, that someone who wants to commit suicide is going to be completely Come delivered on, during this broadcast. Oh, and we believe it. Um, so that's the thing. Give us, I, I mean, I, I'm not trying to make it about a formula because this, I'm sh actually shaking right now. The spirit of revival is in the room. Mm -hmm. Whew, man. Um, I feel it yeah. so strongly. Uh, and uh, but I'd like you to tell people like some things. How can they get in and stay in? Mm. What what do you do when you're fighting in your own mind, fighting in your flesh? Because we're about to go in. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, it, it started with me having an encounter many years back with worship. Yeah. Um, I was in a meeting, and um, you know, I was just see, worshiping the Lord, normal worship, and then Apostle Maldonado was was preaching there. Mm. And he said, I want you to lift your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost as loud as you can. So, you know, I prayed, went a little bit louder, you know, but I didn't tap in. And he said, go beyond the natural as loud as you can. And I thought by myself, okay, let me do it. I lifted up my hands and I started praying in the Holy Ghost, worshiping in the Holy Ghost on the top of my voice. This is what happened. My mind switched off. And all of a sudden, Ooh. I was in the in the realm of the spirit. Come on! And that's where I've learned that that key is I have to shut down this thing. And the only way I can do it is when I enter into mm. worship in the spirit, shut down everything, focus on Him. And that's when I had that encounter with the Lord. Mm. the The fact that I'm alive, how I feel, the fact that I'm alive is a miracle because what I saw that day on that ground where I saw the face of Jesus for the first time. I felt like I'm going to die there. When I saw him, I was like hiding and he was pouring oil over my face. Thank you, God. And from that day in the mm. meetings, people get oil and people start. I don't speak about that because I don't want people to follow that. But yeah. that's a manifestation, just like I can worship the Lord. That's what's happening. So it's true what you say. When I get on the platform, I will tell the people, let's go into, let's worship the Lord mm. in spirit. In mm. other words, we have sang now. All the natural songs. Right. Now we're going to worship in the Spirit, Thank being filled with the Holy Spirit. And just let that new song come. The new song, it just starts coming forth. And all of a sudden you hear songs like Gabby, my daughter, she would just start entering into the realm of the presence of God. Start Songs would just start flowing like Breath of God, um, Footprints of His Glory, mm. you know, um, spontaneous songs, Sing with Angels. All these things start happening. Um, and that is incredible to see that when God, when God starts moving. What is worship? And then we're going to worship the, the Lord here tonight. When I worship, I, I become like the thing I worship. Come on. You are what you behold. Exactly. So if I just look at sports the whole day, I will eventually fill my mind with that and become like that. Mm -hmm. The same with money. If I worship money, I'll become money. I'll think like money. All those Mammon. things. Mammon. Yeah. If I worship him... I become like him. Yes. I start walking like him, acting like him, mm. seeing like him, mm. demonstrating. Mm. Now, all of a sudden, this is what I've seen 
in this revival how angels would manifest because heaven and earth starts becoming one. So what happens there in the heavenly realms is happening on the earth. Let your kingdom come. What is kingdom? It's angels. It's all these things. Let your kingdom come. As it is in heaven, let it be done on this earth. Thank you, Lord. And that is the foundation of, I believe, worship, where we can see the presence of the Almighty God come in. And worship for me creates a fragrance mm. in, the, in, in the place for miracles, signs and wonders and also for the people of God. You know, the Bible says this. There was a woman that anointed the anointed Jesus, Yes. you know, with the alabaster box. Mm. And he said this, as long as the gospel shall be preached, we will preach about her. Mm. So what we are doing now is we're oh, preaching God. about what Jesus prophesied, yeah. that she was worshiping him. And then he made this statement. He says, she does this for the burial of my body mm. and she will be remembered for eternity. She broke that alabaster box and anointed the, the body of Jesus for his burial. Now, you, you, here's the key. When they took Jesus from that house and went and took him in the center court and started giving him 39 lashes, yes. whipping him on that whipping post. Yes. Blood has a smell. Blood, blood smells like metallic. It's like mm, a very metal, metal mm -hmm. you know. All that blood was flowing, that blood was dripping there. But everybody in that square, the Roman soldiers, everybody watching around, didn't smell metal. They smelled the perfume, mm. oh, the fragrance of, of worship. Oh. They say, mm, something smells delicious and sweet. Uh, and what is that? Every time when we hit him, there's a fragrance released. Uh, so when people persecute you and people come against you and hit you and backbite you, it's a fragrance of worship that's just being released. Yes. And when we worship the Lord, this is the key. When I worship him, I release fragrance from my brokenness, from my hurt, from my disappointments. I go past that and I start worshiping the Lord. And what the devil then thinks he's got you, what he meant for evil, <laughs> God turns around as a beautiful fragrance in the presence of God. I truly believe that in the next three days, God's going to do a change. Your finances may be, may be just like that. It may be a disaster. It, you, you, you might have been hit from all, all kinds of debts and um, lawyers and you feel like you're not going to make it or there's some bills to be paid and it feels like all these things. When you start worshiping, you release a different fragrance and all the demons that are tormenting you and punishing you and want to kill you and take you out, they are not going to win. Right. You are going to get the crown of victory in the name of Jesus and for everybody watching tonight that is sick in your body, I say unto you in the name of Jesus that when you worship Him, there's going to come a release of His glory, of His presence in your room, in your life, in your church. May the Lord bring a new fragrance of worship in your business, in your marriage, in your church, in your family, and even in your relationship. This is the hour right now that God is demanding, looking for true worshipers. And I say this tonight, God, you don't have to look any further. Here I am, oh. touch me. Here oh. I am in the studio with Katie. Lord, oh. here we are, here oh. we are. Don't look anything, don't look any further. Jesus. Here we are. May we have an encounter oh, with the living God. May the breath of God just fall oh, upon Jesus. us in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, look, we, we are putting up two songs. These are from the actual music from the... Re from the revival. We've got the words on the screen. I want you to engage. I want you to watch and engage, not just watch. I want you to sing. I want you to pray in oh, tongues. Sorry. I want you to lift your hands. I want you to dance. I want you to bow. I want you to get on your mm. face. I want you to engage. Okay, and remember, if you're on faith television watching right now, switch over at the end of this hour to um, my platform, Katie Sue's on YouTube, or my Facebook, or Nikki's platform on YouTube, and, uh, and make sure you follow follow him okay but we're going to start with Adonai mm -hmm. and we're going to go through two worship songs we're going to spend about 17 18 minutes in worship focus and the glory is going to come amen, amen. thank you Jesus I come, I come before your presence and bow before is all 
impartation right now in the studio. Impartation is happening. Oh, man. Oh. Jesus. Jesus. Oh. oh, Lord, Jesus. Jesus. Okay, look, I just got wrecked. We were on our faces in the studio. The presence of revival is here. There's an impartation anointing available for you right now. Apostle just imparted to me. He released his mantle on me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jesus, Jesus. is the Shekinah glory of God. It's the Ruach of God, the breath of God. When He breathes, miracles happen. I want you to get ready for your miracle. Don't wait for a day. It's not a day of miracles. It's a God of miracles right now. Miracles are happening all across the airwaves in the studio. This is the night of impartation. He told me I will send my fire tonight. And it's going to get hot in the room. It's going to get hot in, the, in your bedroom, in your building. You're going to feel the fire of the Holy Ghost coming. The spirit of revival will come. It's the fire of God. The fire of God. I release. I want you, wherever you are, stretch out your hands towards that television screen, your phones, whatever. The fire of God. I feel it in my hands. The fire of the Holy Ghost is coming. The fire of the Holy Ghost is going to come and revive everything that's dead in your life. It's going to come and burn away everything. That's the fire of God. You. you know, there was an African preacher that says, he says, baptize me and dip me in the kerosene of your spirit God. and set me on fire. Yes, God. That's what I want. Lord, baptize us yes, in the kerosene of your spirit you, and then light us up, O oh God. Yes. May we run through this nation. May we run through the world. Let the fires of revival spread in your home right now. Stretch out your hands. Turn up that volume. Fill that place with, your, with the presence of God. Right now, everything that is dead in your life, I command the fire of God to come and burn again everything that's dead. I put on new fire. I put on the kerosene. I put on the fire of God in your spirit again. May you be revived today. May your business be revived. May your church be revived. May your city be revived. Lord, I pray that America will be revived again. Let America have an encounter with the supernatural spirit of God. Raise up revivalists 
Raise up carriers of the Spirit of God. Raise up end time movers and shakers. Let the remnant rise up in this hour, O oh God. Lord, we call forth revivalists. We call forth revivalists. We call forth revivalists, Lord, that will go with signs, wonders, and miracles. Let them be raised up now in Jesus' name. Let the fire fall. Let the fire fall. Fire of revival. Let your vision be revived. Let your destiny be revived. Let hope be revived again. I send the breath of God to you. The breath of God. He breathes into your home. He breathes into your life. You're going to feel like a wind. You're going to feel a wind in your home. You're going to feel like a wind passing you by. That's the flapping of the angel's wings. That is the breath of God coming right now. Cancers are going to be healed right this very moment. Come on. Just like Francine said, every spirit of suicide, I take authority over you. You have no right under the breath of God. I breathe right now. Life into that dead situation. Life into your emotions. Revival into your emotions. Be joyful again. Be happy again. Stand up again in the power of God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Fire. Jesus. Jesus.
We surrender God and away God right now in this house God in this house God we surrender we surrender Every resistance, yes. everything yes. that's coming yes. against yes. you, yes. everything that would position yes. itself yes. against yes. more of his presence, more of his glory, yes. more of who he is. Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Wow. Katie. Wow. Yes, thank you, Lord. The breath of God is moving. It's touching, touching you. Amen. I want you to chat in right now. If you feel the presence of the Lord, in this place right now. Okay. Let's come back now to the set guys. <clears throat> Thank you. Wow. Man, I I just I don't even know if I have any makeup on left because I just bawled my my eyes out I'm telling on the floor. You. Katie, it's so hot <sighs> in this place, you know. I see people are saying they're in air conditioning, AC places, and it's so hot in there because that's what the fire does. Yeah. When the fire comes, yeah. uh, you know, everything gets hot, everything gets turned up. <sighs> and this is what's going to happen tonight. That's what the Lord said to me. I'm going to release my fire mm. upon my people mm. to be revived again yeah. in, the, in the presence of God. We are carriers of His presence. We are carriers yes. of the glory of God. <sighs> And that worship you've heard, you know, I mean, there wasn't rehearsed. Those are prophetic songs. The breath yes. of God was just at that moment. If you listen Oof. to the music, everything just falls in place. Because when God comes, new songs gets birthed and the power yeah. of God gets, gets uh, fills the lives of people, you know. Yeah, and, you know, and I don't want to break flow, but just put up that, that screenshot guys of the music because i've got this and i mm. i play it all the time in my house mm. and this is That's um it. this is that right revival on um apple music yes. uh gosh everyone needs to have it yes. uh because honestly it's carrying it's the music from the revival you yeah. actually pulled it that what happened now here we played the song of a revival yeah and it started manifesting you oh, you understand yeah and so I oh, truly, it manifested. I, I want people to get wow. this album, you know, on, on, yeah. on Apple, iTunes, wherever. Yeah, it's called um, This Is That, guys. This mm. Is That Revival mm. on iTunes and right. Apple Music. And CFC Worship. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, go so ahead. What an encounter we had. I don't know if the people saw, but it was intense in the studio. It was intense. Oh, Francie's here on me. her face bawling. I, I was, was screaming down, yeah. bawling. Yeah. You put your mantle over me and decreed that we would carry revival yeah. and the power of impartation and the glory. I you know, when I, when I lay down on my, on my face, the Lord showed me how you will carry the fires of revival in this Amen. nation. The four of you will carry this thing very strong in a very Thank significant Jesus. way. Your whole 
I want to say message is about to be revived. Thank you, Lord. There were messages that you preach that's going to be revived again. And you're going to have new, <laughs> there's going to be new partners coming in. There's going to be a new flow of the Holy Spirit. And young people are going to flood in. The next generation is ready for you. See, this is the Lord, mm. what you're saying. This is the Lord. Like five months ago, I got a word from the Lord that um, this, the rock that, you know, the, the fishing line you threw out that didn't catch any fish before is now going to catch netfuls. The, wow, the rock that didn't take down the giant before that you t threw was going to take down the giant now. I mean, and, and I said, what are you talking about, God? And he says, I'm going to breathe on everything you're already carrying and increase it even more. And it's going to it's going to explode for the generation that hasn't heard it and for people that have never heard it. And I just went, the Catholic Church invites me every year to come and teach them. It's just such an honor that they would invite me to come, you know. And I'm telling you, the last session went off like a bomb. <laughs> it was a revelation I've been carrying for 10 years, but it's just gotten deeper, more expansive, and more anointed with more glory and presence on it. And it went off like a bomb. Deliverance was happening all over the room. I mean, people shrieking, vomiting up chunks of blood, but in a very controlled manner. That doesn't sound controlled, but it was very controlled by the Holy Spirit. And afterwards, even this man who was literally vomiting up chunks of blood because the trauma in him was so deep and the demonic hold on him was so strong. Wow that he's sitting there afterwards, they all were, sitting there looking like little angels. They were, their, their faces were lit up. Amen. They were sitting there so calm, peaceful looking, oh, fulfilled looking. One woman who was screaming and screaming, she was walked by me and, I, and she just looked like she had literally gone to heaven. Her so content, the deliverance Thank mantle you, is taken on a whole Thank new you, level. This is what happens. When we sit in revival, God breathes on what we Absolutely. have and what He's given yeah. us. It's a fresh breath of God coming upon your ministry. And I prophesy that to you. Yes, it's did. a fresh breath of God tonight coming upon your ministry. Your name will be great, just like Abraham. Wow. And God, we know we Lord are not Jesus. going for the names and stuff, but yeah, God's no. going to make, he, he has to use people. Yeah, well, I'm going for the influence that mm -hmm. the name brings because when you have influence, mm, you can absolutely. help so many more people. Absolutely. You can help them. And that's what we want. We absolutely. want to help people. And we want to have more authority so we can do it quicker. Absolutely. You know? More influence, yeah. Gosh, it's, it, I feel that Amen. here. Amen. The last time you were here, you prophesied that to me. In fact, we have a clip of it. I don't know if it's appropriate to pay it right now because I'm wasted. Okay. <laughs> In the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Um, but you said you saw a glory cloud dropping keys out of it in the studio. It happened not just now, just again when wow. I said it. Oh, my gosh. When you said it the first time, you said, I see a glory cloud. As soon as you said that, I breathed it in. Wow. And I felt it hit my lungs. And just now when I said it again, you felt it I again. felt it again. Yeah. I breathed it in again. That's never happened to me. The breath of God. It's the <clears throat> Ruach of God, the breath of God yeah. upon your life. As a matter of fact, I, I want you to, when you, when you minister again, you need to start breathing upon people. I've never done that because I've always thought it was, you know. No, I want you to do that because the breath of God is in you. <laughs> I'm going to listen happens. to the apostle. I would like to see, hear the testimonies. Okay, like that mic can I do it without the mic? Can I do can it do, just with the just people? Just have a mint, you know. If you do <laughs> have a mint. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. You, let me just say this. Yeah. You know, this is the hour for revival. It's the hour for the presence of God. And the fire of God is going to fall afresh. I want to ask the people uh, tonight to do the following. You need to now stay in for the next two nights, uh, you know, up till Friday night. It's going to be crazy supernatural oh, things. Man. I wish you could come down to Marco Island, be here that we can I lay know. hands upon oh you. Oh my goodness, that would have been so amazing. I know. We'll do a but we'll do a live one later. Dr. Gonna, Andre has said he, we can We'll use go his through space. America and do this. Let's do it. Because Let's honestly, from, you're carrying. Let's go from city to city. I've been shaking with the <laughs> spirit of revival that you're carrying. Yeah. I want you, wherever you're watching from, write down in the comment sections where you're watching from and say revival in, and then you put your city's name. Yeah. Revival in yeah. your nation's name. 
I'm believing the Bible says, ask of the nations and he will give it to you. I want to see how many nations are watching in the next three days. If you are watching right now and you are from a nation outside of South uh, America, write it down. If you are watching from a city in America or from around the world, write mm. it there. And this is what you write. Revival in Marco Island. Revival in America. Revival mm. in, I saw Alaska was watching. Alaska needs revival. The whole mm. world needs revival. Yeah. And like oh. you said now, I love what you said. The more influ influence we have, the more authority we have. Amen. And the more people we and can the, touch. And the more people we can do it and quicker. I want to read some of these that are coming in. Mm. Um, revival in North Carolina. Revival in Houston, Texas. Revival in Lancaster, PA. Revival in Amen. New Zealand. In Revival in Calgary. Revival in wow, Chicago. Revival in yeah, Minnesota. Oh, revival so in so Princeton. So revival so in Cedar so Rapids. So revival so in... What is it? Skullkill Haven, Pennsylvania. Um, wow. Revival in Mexico. Revival in Durban. Revival mm. in the UK. Revival in Las Vegas, Nevada. Amen. Revival in Newcastle, Australia. Revival in Vienna, Austria. Come on. Revival in New Orleans. Revival in Kenya. Revival in Sacramento. Revival wow, in wow, Myrtle wow, Beach. Wow. Come on. Revival in Puerto Rico. Revival in Arkansas. Revival in the Philippines. Mm. Revival in Portugal. Revival in Ireland. Re revival in Texas. Revival in San Diego, revival in New York City, revival in California, revival in South Africa, revival in Bourbon, mm -hmm. Missouri, revival in Nambia, revival in, oh my gosh, <laughs> they, they're chatting. It's a, a revival in Hawaii. <clears throat> Katie, this is what's going to happen. Yeah. The fires of revival is going to eat cities. Yes. Remember what I said. All right. Revival is threefold. Number yeah. one, personal revival. Right. Number two. Okay. Church revival. Church revival. That's the second dimension of revival. It hits a church. The house of God will be revived. Judgment starts in the house of the Lord. Yeah. It's a house of prayer. Right. So. I have a personal revival, then, I, then my church gets a revival, and third dimension of revival is a citywide revival city or a nationwide revival. Yes. Okay. That's you know, what's going to happen. These it, cities, yeah. I'm telling you, we're going to go wow. to these cities. Mm, let's you do it. You know what? We must do three nights in every city we should. and broadcast Absolutely. live from all these cities, and people yeah. can come that we can lay hands upon them. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and my impart gosh. impart into them. That's would, what we need to do. Would you guys love that if, if Apostle uh, Nikki and I went around to these cities and, I bring my, and my ministered? Team. Yeah, well, I'll bring our team. And you bring your team, yeah. and you bring your worship team. Yeah, yeah, no, she can. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. No, yes. We can't do it without them. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited. Okay, now look. Um, 2024. I don't know if this is appropriate to do it right now because I'm still wasted, but um, <laughs> we have some, like, you know, some footage of you imparting to church leaders. Mm -hmm. And they went home and actually had miracles. One guy, the first person yeah. he prayed for was a what was it a blind well he was a pastor from a from a church in cape town and he came to the revival he came to the revival i prophesied to him he was just looking at everything yeah went back that sunday he said okay i'm gonna try this if there are people that are sick come to the front and the the first person that came was a mom that brought a daughter she was born blind 14 years old, oh my laid hands upon her and her eyes popped open. He's so amazed. He can't even believe what's happening. But that's what revival does. Pastors, pastors, and evangelists, fivefold ministers, those of you who are watching, and if you want your church to be revived, I'm, I'm saying this prophetically. You're going to get impartation, and you're going to go back to your churches, and revival is going to happen this Sunday. Coming right now. Oh my gosh. You need to get on that platform and get people hungry. Speak about revival. Speak about the glory. Speak about worship. Get out of the way and let the Holy Ghost move. And you're going to see what's going to happen. And let us know uh, what's happening. So let's look at this this pastor. Yeah, okay. So do we have the clip, guys? With We yeah. do. Let's roll it. I give this place, this property, these members that you've given unto us into the spirit of revival if you pour out revival use this place oh god when you're gonna pour it out use this property and you're gonna go back to your cities and to your church and i declare that what has happened here will happen in your place 
I release the fire of God in a greater measure than ever before upon your ministry, upon your wife, upon the leadership, upon Cape Town. Let it spread in the name of the Lord. Let the holy fire of God come tonight afresh upon your life, afresh upon your ministry, fresh upon your finances, fresh upon the revelations that needs to go into books. I command TV open. I command radio open. I command the fire of God. Call in Jesus' name. Fire, 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 fire of God. Shakata. Fabian, just stand that side. I want you to walk to Fabian. Do you see him? Can you see him? Can you see that young man there? Okay. Walk to him. Walk to him. And she stopped right in time. Can you walk back to me? Can you walk back to me? You gotta give God praise. You gotta give God praise. Hallelujah. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. She's slowing down and she's stopping. Come on, church. We give God praise. Your hope must be restored in Christ Jesus. This is truly a portal moment where we can decree and so it shall be. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes. As they go back, Lord, this weekend for the Pentecost feast, break open revival over the churches. Break open revival in that city, oh God. Let there be an outpouring of the power of the Holy Ghost, an outpouring of the supernatural power of God. Come on, everybody pray a little bit here. These are pastors from churches all over Johannesburg, Cape Town, East London, Durban. Come on, they're all here. Let your fire fall. Let your fire fall. Let your fire fall upon these men and women of God. Change their bands, change their leadership, change the structure, interrupt in their lives, oh God. Wow. <laughs> okay, so that footage was also other churches where right. you imparted. The pastors came, they got the impartation while they were in your the revival at your place, and they took it back. Well, you know, that was the most incredible thing of how many pastors from all over South Africa mm. came. And, uh, you know, we had people from all over the world coming, went back to their cities and started revival meetings. And I just challenged them. And I want to challenge the men of God. They just start seven days. That's all. Just get up there and say for the next seven days, we're having revival meetings and look what the Lord will do. He's going to build your church. He's going to do great things. And step out in faith to do that but the impartation is very important mm. when impartation comes you know it's the fire of god you know falling upon people those are all men of god uh getting import uh, impartation and churches grew finances grew yeah those are all they're happy as they're going down all i mean pastors. those are all pastors and leaders from all yeah, over the world exactly Look people at that. flew from all th that's those are all pastors and leaders that's not just one night. It's like continuously. Yeah, nine coming, weeks. Coming all the time. It's incredible what has happened. Incredible, uh, you know. I, I don't even know how to describe it. Um, guys, you need to go onto Nikki's page on YouTube, okay, and follow it. Let's put that up so, because his name is a little bit, <laughs> you know, Va Van der West, West Hazen. Hazen. There you, Hazen. Go. you say it right. <clears throat> yeah. Let's help the people with that name. Yeah. And we can get it out of the way. Right. You know, Van der yeah. West Hazen. Hazen. That's it. Yeah. Van it der West. It looks so long. It does. But when you hear it, it's actually easy. It's, it's Dutch. Mm. It just means it's the uh, house of the West. In other words, we are from the West, Western side. Right. And we have a home there, so it means house of the West. House of the West. We have Van der, that means from the 
Wasthausen, Wasthausen. Yeah, I think when we, when the revival <laughs> first started and I looked, again, forgive me if I'm hurting you, but I looked at your page and you had like 3,000 subscribers. Yeah, exactly. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, but it went viral in other platforms by people sharing and stuff. Yeah. I mean, you actually reached uh, 1.8 million people. Oh, it was crazy. insane. Right, and so look guys, go to the page and get on it. Because when you go and you get on the page and you click on the live tab, underneath it is all the days they number them. Revival day one, revival day two, revival day three. If you sit in that stuff, I'm, I'm telling you, who it Every, changed you know our what? life. I've only stopped the nine weeks consecutive days. I've mm -hmm. still carried on. Right. I still have Sunday nights, Wednesday night, Friday night. And then there's mm -hmm. something very powerful that the Lord spoke to me is to activate business people. Amen. The marketplace mm. revival. So I do that Monday mornings very strong. Only f only for business people yeah. and only for for executives. You must see the power of God touch those people. And we'll tomorrow night we're going to we're going to release that in this place business oh boy, people yeah. marketplaces. Oh man. Because that's what the fire of God does. Um I lost and, my know, monitors guys if you can get me that count too so I can see it. Go ahead. So um, the fire of God, I want to just bring this in for, for everyone here. The fire of God does four things. Okay. Number one, the fire of God, when, when it comes, it burns out all fear of man. Mm. All fear of man. Thank you, Lord. When the fire of God hits you, there is no more fear for man, for their threats. You're not intimidated by it. You walk in a different boldness, different authority. That's when the fire of God comes. The second thing that the fire of God does, it burns out everything that holds you back. Come on. From fulfilling your destiny <clears throat> and oh, the yeah. plan of God in your life. So it burns out sicknesses. It burns out diseases. It burns out poverty, mm -hmm. limitations, lack. It burns out everything um, when the fire of God comes. You know, I don't know about you, but I hate it. Or I used to hate it as a child when they would bring me a gift that I can get now at Christmas and there's no batteries included. Oh, yeah, of course. And it's like, ah, oh, now we have to go and buy batteries. I can't even pay for <laughs> play with it. Right. God did not give us just this thing. Without the, batteries. Life, without the batteries. Without the batteries. We are charged. We are filled with the fire of God. <laughs> we are filled with the anointing Jesus. of God. Right. And it takes the fire of God to take you where you're energized, where you're empowered to do signs, wonders, and miracles. Mm. You know, a rocket cannot go into the atmosphere without fire. Without fire. And right. It's true. That's break, a good one. How do we break through the atmosphere? Yeah. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. And, and you so, know something's wrong when you feel resistance to having to raise up to get the fire going. Mm, you mm -hmm, know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Then you've got something in here. That's blocking you because exactly. you're like, oh, it sounds like a jar, a, a mm. chore to me. It's not. No. It's the presence. Exactly. I love it. Presence of God. Oh, my gosh. And the third thing the fire of God does is it, it creates us to become vessels of honor. Mm. The fire of God burns away everything and only the purity remains. Well, says, vessels of honor remain. He's a, 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 a raging fire and a fuller soap. So the fire is like soap. It cleans you up. And even in Matthew 3, where it says that Jesus comes and baptizes you with the Holy Spirit and fire, and he separates the chaff from the wheat mm. and burns up the chaff with unquenchable fire. It does. It takes out the junk. Absolutely. And burns it. Absolutely. Yes. What That's do what the fire does. It, it, it makes you... Listen, we're going to have the fire of God on the earth and in heaven. When we get to heaven, our works will be burned up. Our works will be Amen. tested by fire. Everything is about the fire of God. When Daniel... Uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was in the, um, in the fiery furnace. Yeah. They didn't see the fourth man. Only the king saw. Ah. They didn't even see who was with them in the fire. Oh, my gosh. We might go through the fire. Let me tell you, the fourth man is there, and the fire of God attracts Come the on. presence of God. It attracts, <laughs> and even the worldly people say, well, there's something different about you. Right. You know, and oh if you look gosh. at Samson, I love that story. Yeah. He got foxes together. And set their tails on fire. <laughs> he, he bind them together to two foxes, the Bible says, two by two, lift their tails up and set them into the city. And they, I mean, they just burned that whole city. Mm. Samson, I'm very sure, didn't take that fox and say, you don't have enough teeth. You are not qualified. <laughs> you only have three legs. <laughs> 
<laughs> you only had three legs. You can't qualify. Or you are blind or crippled, whatever. No, he just was looking for two tails. <laughs> If you Deeper had a tail, tails. if you had a tail, you qualify. Here's the thing. It doesn't matter how you look, who you are. Just be available for the fire of God. And we That's can change nations one. Come on, through the fire of God. If you just set your tail on fire, guys, <laughs> that's all it takes. That's all do, it takes. Let me ask you, do you think, I think a sovereign move of the fire of God is coming. Mm. Because people are, they're very... Um, oppressed they're very depressed mm. they can't rise up you see people they literally physically can't rise up much less rise up in their energy or emotions or commitment or anything else like that mm -hmm. it's going to take like a, a sovereign move absolutely where the power hits the presence hits and you get ignited we cannot do it in the natural anymore it's impossible there's yeah. no more there's no more answers for us yeah we need the wow. we need a global revival a move of the holy ghost to come back and change our nation I say this for America today. This, this nation was founded on the word of the Lord, was founded with Christian principles. Mm. There's so much stuff that's bearing that. I feel God is going to dig up the wells again. And America will be revived again on the basis of where they come from. That's what revival does. Oh, okay. A lot of junk has been piled up in these wells, yeah, just right. like Isaac. Clogging and we are up. digging up these wells yeah. again. And revival mm -hmm. is going to revive the word again. It's yeah. going to revive this nation again. I believe this nation is at the point of, of a ha massive move of God. A tsunami of the power of God. And it doesn't feel like that at all, right? But it's when there's persecution that the church prospers and Absolutely. grows and increases so Absolutely. that's now what is the qualifications for a revival there are, there are 10 qualifications for revival i don't want to speak about that now but okay one of the thing is the nation must be at its lowest spirit, yeah. spiritually man okay so do we qualify for sure <laughs> you know yeah, south right. africa we are we qualified <laughs> number one for a revival. Why? Because our nation is in a desperate need. It's in a grip of corruption. Yeah. It's in a grip of witchcraft. You know, our our uh, political party, the ruling party, will not start a session if they don't consult witch doctors. This that's is why that Africa? nation is seriously South Africa. <clears throat> you know, that's why we are in such a mess because it's ruled by witches and witch doctors. The Church of wow. the Living God must rise up. Oh my gosh. It's going to take the fire of God to come into that <clears throat> political White House mm. or our Parliament House and let the fire of God fall and let Dagon, that God, fall to the ground. Yeah, amen. That's what we need. Right. Power spirit of, God. of fire and spirit of judgment. Isaiah ta 4 talks about it. Absolutely. So that spirit's coming. Absolutely. God In won't Jesus let name. it happen anymore. No. He's done. Yeah. I know you also see, you know, amazing salvations coming from mm. the revival itself it brings salvations it brings the souls in i think we have some pictures of that too let's put that up guys right i mean haven't you well, seen that you know if you lift up jesus all men will be drawn unto you thank you so Lord. we have seen salvations people run to the altars wow look at that and get saved people get revived i want to say this about revival is that look at that just the altars are full of people coming to the Lord. Man, that's amazing. Young and old. Yeah. You know. Wow. You re look at that. That was, Jesus. that was, we put up a cross there for good uh, Easter weekend. Yeah. People ran to the cross. I didn't. You didn't say anything. Didn't say anything. I just started running. And then people got healed. You know, that's wow. one of the miracles that happened there. But Katie, here's the thing about the salvations. <clears throat> in this revival and those of you who've got unsaved family members or friends why don't you trust the lord that in the next two days they'll get saved let them watch the program let them get in contact with katie's uh, ministry here in our ministry let's pray for them let's get them connected to god the first week of revival there i preached the one night and i said god is going to change drug dealers to hope oh, dealers. On. That's what I said. So I made the altar call. Whoa. They came to the front. There was a man standing in the front, young man, and uh, he had earphones around his neck. I called him up. I said, sir, come here. I said, the fire of God's going to touch you. 
I lay my hands upon him. He falls under the power of God. And he walks off. I didn't uh, ask him anything. He just walks off. The next night, he comes back, but I don't recognize him. So during the service, I'm looking at this man, and I'm thinking, yeah, that, he looks so familiar. So I called him. I said, aren't you the guy that was on the stage last night? Katie, good T-shirt, jeans, nice. The previous night, he was like, like uh, oh my just gosh, like a street guy. change. So I said, um, what happened? He says, you said that drug dealers are going to become hope dealers. He says, I am the drug dealer. <gasps> so he's the drug dealer of the city. Oh my God. He got saved oh the God. night before. So the next day he goes back to his place where he sits to sell drugs. He says, I can't sell anything. I'm looking at the people that used to come to me. I can't give them anything. All I can tell them is this. I can give you hope. I'm a hope dealer now. Oh, you know? my gosh. So then, then I said to him, well, do you know that you need the Holy Spirit because you don't understand to right. get people saved, you know? Right. So I said, are you ready for the Holy Ghost? Oh he says, yes. No, I mean, he's got no idea what's going on. I said, lift your hands. <laughs> to lift his oh, hand. Here it comes. Power of God hits Bam. him to the ground. He starts praying in tongues. Wow. Shakatara. Never been taught in nothing. Nothing, it nothing. I've got those clips. Not I didn't send it. I'll get it to you. Yeah. But uh, filled with the Holy Spirit, gets up, gets a Bible, gets dressed, gets back on the streets, and gets becomes an evangelist in that area mm. for that time. Wow. That's what revival does. It changes everybody. It changes the drug dealers. It changes. There was a man, a homeless man. This touched me so much. Mm. A homeless man. One of my members picked him up uh, on the street corner where he was begging. They brought him to church. He got saved, but he had such a smell on him. You know, people didn't want to stand next to him. So I said to one of my, my team members, take him to one of the homes. We have homes around the house, uh, around the church. Take him there, get him showered, get dressed, get him uh, clothing there, and get him food. So they did that. They brought him back about an hour later into the meeting. So he sits there. Katie, that, that man. That was for me one of the greatest miracles of the revival. Every night he would come and sit right there, cleaned, oh dressed. With a, somebody, we gave him a Bible. Oh my God. He would sit there. And when the offerings would come, he would come and bring an envelope with, in your currency, it will be 25 cents or 20, a quarter, oh my right? Gosh. But he would put it at the altar. Two days later, he got a job, ah. starts working. Oh my gosh. Now the 25 cents no longer oh there. Now gosh. he gets now now he starts giving Ooh. the notes there, you know. And God oh takes gosh. him from being a homeless person oh. in the revival man. to a man that's working and taking gosh. care of his family. And then the one day he says, oh my he said this, he said, Oh, and God healed him. He threw away his crutches. I think there's photos of that where he threw away his crutches oh and he starts gosh. walking. One day he wakes up, somebody knocks on his door. He opens it up. Here is his sister, which he hasn't seen for 35 years. She founds him, and God reu reunites families. That's what revival does. It, re it brings restoration of everything. That is what God is going to do. People that have left your life, families that are not joined together, God's going to restore them in the name of Jesus. Oh God's going to bring miracles. If God can take a homeless person from the streets, turn his whole life around, God can do it for you. If God can take a drug dealer and make him a hope dealer, I'm telling you, God is going to do that. Don't give up on your children. They may be on drugs tonight. They may be far away from the Lord. With God, nothing is impossible. And that little coin that that homeless man gave that he picked up on the streets, and now he can earn a salary, Listen, God can do the impossible for you in Jesus' name. And wow. I want to close off with this here, Katie. Mm -hmm. These people sowed into revival. Yeah. Every seed that touched that revival and in this set here that we are now, yeah. the seed that you're going to sow in the next three days, when it touches this account, when it touches this atmosphere of revival, your seed will multiply. The Bible doesn't say... Uh, Lord, I pray for a harvest. I pray for more harvest, more harvest. No, he says, pray for seed. That's what we need. Lord, give me seed that I might sow because the harvest that comes will, I mean, will be ridiculous. My prayer is in the next three days, as you're about to sow, that it will not just be a normal seed. 
So, yeah. uh, okay, it must be a seed of revival. Now tonight, I've only touched on the fire of God. We're going to yeah. still go into all these things. But I want to get a seed ready for revival in the next three days. It must be a seed that you say, Lord, this seed will go for my family, my church, my business, my, my marriage, whatever you are believing God for. Those are the things that you need to release. Uh, we have seen heaps of offerings. That's biblical too. The heaps. It is. The yeah. heaps that came. Mm-hmm. People, were, people were, I don't know how many watches people gave and rings and um, uh, handbags. Huh. I mean, crazy handbags. <laughs> people got undressed in the church. <laughs> They just take their clothes. Take my bag, take my watch, take my shoes. I don't mean, if it wasn't for that, we couldn't, I mean, we gave the homeless people their clothing, all those things, finances that came in. It is ridiculous. There are things that is holding you back that you need to let go. My my son, Nikki, and my wife, Lillian. So I've got Nikki, Michal, and my wife, those three. And then Tanil, which is Nikki's uh, wife. And I'm becoming a grandfather. You I are? That, Congratulations. Yeah. And, oh, my uh, gosh. So, but Nikki, the first Sunday, first service of the revival, he took off his jacket his mom bought him. Oh. He folded up and he put it on the altar. Oh, my gosh. I'm looking at this, and he said, he walked back. When he walked back to his seat, the power of God hits him. Oh. Fell to the ground there, right? The start shaking on the power of oh, God. Oh, my God. And I'm looking at this. This was like, I've never seen that. The Lord, we had two morning services, and the Lord said to my wife, to Lillian, I want you to sew that bag. She's got a Louis Vuitton bag. Oh, boy. And uh, that was in the first service. So we have a break before we start the second service. And the Lord said to her in the break, he says, so you are disobedient. Oh. Just like that. She says, no, Lord. She says she couldn't wait oh. for that second service. Oh she emptied gosh. her Louis Vuitton bag. Oh, my God. And she argued with the Lord. Lord, can't I give the money, the, the value of this bag and oh keep my, my bag? And the Lord said, I want the precious thing. Because she was believing for a precious miracle. Oh, my gosh. For something significant. And the Lord, because you can give the value of the bag. But that won't touch you. Yeah. Right? Wow. Oh, come on. That bag touch. It's like, what, what, what has your heart? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you feel yourself not wanting to give something, that's the very thing you need to give, right? You know what I, I always say to people? Let's say this. Let's say the Lord tells you, so, so a car, a vehicle to that person. Yeah. All right? Yeah. And you are disobedient. That car will never be the same again. Every time when you get in that car, you climb into disobedience. No. You climb into of, mm, I reject this thing. Oh, you man. know, it will, it will always be, mm, this is not a good drive anymore. Wow. You'll be reminded. And you will not have peace until that seed is, is gone. Oh, my God. Isn't it true? It's so true. So the Lord will say, so that, and I will try to negotiate with God. And you can't sleep, you can't stop thinking about it until that seed is done. Yeah, right. It's I like, know. okay, there's Once the peace of God. Once you make up your mind, too, you can't, you want to do it right then, right now. You don't want to wait anymore. Yeah. It's an urgency because Absolutely. God's breathing on it, right? So things that are dead must come back to life. Mm. And I really, I don't know if they have the straps on there for the people, but I want you to sow a seed for revival. Here is what the Lord instructed me, Katie. Do we have straps, guys? Throw them up for the... No, we don't have it. <laughs> Just go to the website there. Well, go to Just the go website. Just go to the website yeah. of Katie. Okay. And uh, you'll find the giving pages there, the giving uh, links. This is what I want you to do tonight, wherever you are watching from around the world. I want you to sow a seed of revival. Um, may your business be revived. May your finance be re- revived. Yeah. Now we're going to touch on this tomorrow night a little bit yeah. more. But I want to say this because I feel the anointing. Okay. The Lord spoke to me, he says, in this revival, he says, do not receive one offering. In other words, don't go and preach a message on revival. Don't do that. Okay. I will cause the people to give. For nine weeks, I did not receive one offering. Now, that is so not normal. Right. But look at what happened. But look you guys what happened. received so much. You bought a new. We're going to talk about this yeah. a lot tomorrow. But you, you, were, you bought new land. It land was a miracle land. land. Miracle land. Miracle land. 
I didn't have that money, but God provided. I didn't receive an offering. For, God just said, if you will worship me, I will make sure all the things that you are desiring will come to you. Mm. People gave out of the abundance of their hearts. People just started walking to the front and give. And that's what I want to teach the body of Christ. Don't wait for that moment to give. Don't wait for an offering. Just do it. When you feel, comp when you feel the presence of God, that's when you give. Amen. That's when you respond. Amen. That's when you say, Lord, I want to do it right now. And in the next three days, I really want you to prepare a seed for revival because the things that are dead are going to be revived mm. in Jesus' mm -hmm. name. And as we're going to worship Him in the next three days, when that worship presence comes, don't you want to respond by worshiping the Lord? Yes, amen. Through your, yes, our hands, our mouths, but also through our giving. Mm. And I am a living witness. I've got thousands of testimonies of how people just worship Him and God added everything to their lives. Mm. So today as you start giving into this revival, I want you to sow whatever the Lord says. And I'm telling you what I, what I sense. Mm. Uh, I don't know how it's going to work, but people are going to start giving cars. There isn't a car anointing upon you. There, how many cars got given and, and uh, tithed mm, into and given to one, other people? Two, three, five, six, seven. Seven, seven cars. cars. That's just, like... Like just started coming in. Tens of thousands of dollars. Oh, no. I mean, and, and when... Okay, when you say seven cars, and we'll show this tomorrow, guys, because mm -hmm. we're going to dive deep, because we really want you to bring yeah, yeah, yeah. free in your finances, but we're going to worship and worship and worship tomorrow. It's from 4 p.m., guys, by the way, 4 p.m. Eastern to 6 p.m. Yeah. Eastern tomorrow. We're going to move it up an hour than, than normal, uh, and that's tomorrow and Friday. Mm -hmm. And so when you say cars, uh, man, these cars are like Audis. Convertible Audis, BMWs. BMWs. It, it wasn't like a junker, somebody's car that they're about to tow off to the scrap into yard, the yeah. scrap yeah, heap. Yeah. These were like, I, when I saw the first car, I was like, I'll take that car. That <laughs> car is awesome. Yeah. I mean, like really amazing, expensive cars. It was incredible. And you know what was so amazing? It's like, see, I the thing the is, let me, I want to clarify this. Before. I don't mean to interrupt you, but when cars got sewn. You guys didn't keep them. They were sewn to somebody in Immediately. need. Immediately you sewed them to somebody in the congregation or somebody else like that that needed the car. It wasn't yeah. like you guys gathered a bunch of cars. No, I don't have one of those cars. People right. actually asked me. They asked me this question. They said, how do you feel standing on the platform listening to all the testimonies and you don't get anything? I said, what? I never even thought about that. You know, for me, I'm just the conduit. Conduit. Conduit of where God's blessings flow through. The more people are blessed, the happier I am, you know. So I know, if huh? I can can just distribute blessings, uh, yeah. what a great And I honor, see all these man. shiny faces standing with pictures in front of the cars. <laughs> yeah. Look at my, hey, look at my car. It's awesome. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And, you know, and God bless you guys, too, because you got the land. Yeah. The new church, your, so your people. I really, like I said, I believe, I believe in the next three days, this, I don't, I'm telling you. God's going to release vehicles and He's going to release land. And yeah, property. come on. Uh, what happened to us, and I want to keep the testimony for tomorrow, because yeah. tomorrow, if you are believing God for land and properties, you need to stay tuned for tomorrow. Yeah. Because there's an anointing that God is flowing right now. He mm. is restoring and reviving His promise that says the earth is the Lord's. Mm. The and land the is the Lord. You are believing God for land. If I'm Yeah, you know, and, and I, 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 I don't want to tell the whole story, but you did a teaching at the end of the revival on the vow. Mm -hmm. Right. I was amazed at that teaching. It was so awesome. And I actually made wow. a vow and it involves your church. I'm not sure if I'm free to say all the details here, but I vowed to the Lord. Lord, I need that I land. need 695 acres of cattle land so I can feed thousands and thousands wow. of people. I said, give me that and I'm going to give Pastor Nikki's church X yeah. amount of dollars, it's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. I, wow. you know, I haven't ever told you that. Yeah. But, um, sure. and I'm believing God's going to make it happen. You're going to believe it. 
Yeah. Because the earth is the Lord's, that land must mm. go. And I'm actually making a, a down payment on that. Oh, really? Because I am, yeah, you should oh, have a Jesus notification name. of a rather large offering <laughs> coming to you in Praise your email Lord. today. In Jesus' name, yes, thank you. because I'm sowing my seed into you today. I receive that. And I Amen. bless a thousandfold return. I receive it. Over your, over your seed. Yeah. And may that land come. Oh, in the name Jesus. of Jesus Christ. Amen. That land shall be yours. Mm. It shall be this ministry's place. Yes. And not just the land, mm. Katie, the cattle. Yep, the cattle. The, the equipment yep. needed to run that. Thank you, Lord. And yes. why do I see a butchery on there? I see a oh, butchery on there. Oh, yes, the come on. I see a butchery yes. on there. It will be yes. a butchery. It shall be everything that you need yes. to produce dairy Thank products you, and Lord. stuff. I'm and you will be sustainable it. and self-sustainable. Mm. Come on, everybody that agrees with me. Come on, let's, let's agree tonight. Lord, we seal this vow. Mm. We seal this promise in the name of Jesus Christ Lord. that it shall take place right this very moment. Wherever that land Thank is, you, we call it forth right now. Now, yes. in Jesus' name. Mm. Amen. 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 Yes. It's yes. Done. I know where the land is and everything. I just, oh, really? Oh, yeah. And it's got cattle on it already. <laughs> and it's on. perfect. It's got it's water yours. running through it. It's beautiful. I've never seen more healthy cattle in my life than on this land. Wow. And I grew up around cattle. So when I seen this, and I didn't even know. Somebody invited me to go up there. I was like, oh, no, I can't drive all that way. And I went up there, and I was like, oh, my God. God's been telling me. Abraham was, ex the Bible says he was extremely rich in livestock, yes. silver and gold. Yes. Livestock, silver and gold. Mm. And the Lord gave me that word, and he said, it's not just for you. Of course not. It's for me to mm. feed thousands of people. Mm. So... And this oil on that land. Um, mm, poof, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. It I'm ready for it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. We, we you know, uh, if Let's you... Go tomorrow night. We're going to, for tomorrow night then. Okay, we're going to close it up then, guys. Uh, what video do we have? Let's play the promo of the Revival Vin again, and then we'll pray everybody out until tomorrow night. Can we play that? Let's roll it. I give this place, this property these members that you've given unto us into the spirit of revival if you pour out revival use this place oh god when you're gonna pour it out use this property come on this is the hour for revival i'm not talking about a building revival i'm talking about a global revival In the day of Acts chapter 2, it says when the Holy Ghost came, it came like a mighty rushing wind. It filled the whole house and everybody that heard it ran to that place and the fire of God come. The Holy Ghost fire is not quiet. A uh, church on fire is not a quiet church. It is not a silent church. It's a church on fire for God. Come on, the miracle power of the Holy Ghost is here. Whatever is happening now, you appropriate it. I feel the devil is going to run tonight. I'm making him mad. People say, how can he speak about money? Here we go. Money, come to me right now. I just want to say the Lord is good because he said I'm feeling that the Lord wants me to sow 1.2 million into your barn, into your barn, 1.2 million. We have seen cars coming into this revival like ridiculous. They said they're going to send me another contract that's 10 times more. You are standing on your new church property. <laughs> Open revival over the churches. Break open revival in that city, oh God. Now let me hear the citizens of South Africa lift up the praises of revival. Come on, every citizen of South Africa, praise the Lord for revival. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Would you uh, pray us out? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. 
Father, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for what you have done. I thank you for the activation of revival in the hearts of every single person. And Lord, we thank you that the spirit of revival will go from city to city, from person to person. Lord, that there will come a personal revival, a church revival, and a citywide revival. We thank you that the fires of God will spread in America, across the world, in Jesus' name. Let the next three days be days of the supernatural, of revival. Lord, we bless Katie and this whole ministry team and everyone involved. Lord, that the next three days they will have encounters in Jesus' name. And we give you all the praise and all the honor. Amen and amen. And as we go out, guys, if you have testimonies, please yes, send testimony. any testimonies to selfies at katiesouza.com. Mm. That's selfies at katiesouza.com. And I want you to send video testimonies, and you can send written testimonies. And then my one last thing is, we're, see this? this right here breath of god this is that revival you need to get the album go to um your itunes store or apple music and get this is that revival album i'm telling you it's going to saturate your home with the presence of revival yes. all right we will see you guys tomorrow at 4 p.m to 6 p.m eastern until then be revived <laughs>